Hello, Sean. How you doing, dude? I'm Jesse uh, Hughes. Uh, did you see I just put out my hand to shake your hand? I was like, wow. Old habits. This, this are <laughs> I'm really, uh, I'm really looking, I've been looking forward to this interview. I, I, I really, I love the show particularly. And, and I also, I just want to say right out of the bat, the grace and the class that you demonstrated when uh, you thanked the people that uh, won or were selected is second to none. Uh, so I already admire and adore you. So, oh, but, you know, it's, I, I think um, there's, it's a no loose scenario. And more than anything, I think we're really lucky to, in the, I, I mean, I'm not going to speak for the other episodes, but those other contestants, Victoria, Luker, Griffin, are class acts, amazing musicians, and people that I'm going to be, like, without a doubt, writing with in the future. Griffin, Griffin had the better song, and uh, it's perfect for Florida Georgia Line. This is what I'm talking about. I almost, I almost could talk about this, especially right now, as opposed to the details of the show, because it's a beautiful, I'm a songwriter and a, and a singer too. And, and, and uh, that class, that ability to appreciate your peers and not demonstrate a, a lookout for number one only is what makes our musical community so beautiful. It's why yeah, I, I want to get involved with it. And especially the spirit of country music, which I think is wonderful too, as an American that you're showing us how to do this but you're a Canadian, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love it. I think it's an international <laughs> effort all the way around. You know, I, I, I'm in Nashville so much now that uh, it's, I probably, it's a, I got a little bit of both in me. Well, which is my next point. Ultimately, it's an attitude, right? Like punk rock's an attitude, yeah. country music, because you could argue that Johnny Cash is just as punk rock as Black Flag, but he's also country, yeah. you know what I mean? 100%, yeah. So, so the attitude, and I also know that uh, BC, British Columbia, which I used to hitchhike to every summer, to the Swanson Ferry and then take the Swanson Ferry to Victoria to visit. Yeah, yeah. I know that it is, it's got the heart of country in it. It, it, it truly does. So um, I wanted to get that out of the way. Now I want to get into the show. What was your yeah, experience yeah. like on this show? Because I mean, you're a songwriter, right? But you're also a performer. Yeah. But when yeah. you're a songwriter, you don't normally get glory. It's normally a behind the curtain, uh, a behind the veil sort of thing. And then you write, yeah. you know, what was it like to have the actual behind the purse behind the veil person exposed in the spotlight? You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, I, I think the, the the show does exactly what it's supposed to do, and it does it in a great way. Anyway, anytime you can highlight um, highlight songwriters and then show uh, music fans the process from inception to um, the final product is amazing. Now, I mean, in in our in the case of the show, it's very much supercharged because generally you're not going to be um, pitching directly to an artist or, or tailor making something for an artist, especially FGL. Um, and generally you're not going to have the input of Ryan Tedder, Esther Dean and Shane McAnally. I mean, these right, are, right, right. They're, they're, these are, they're, they're legends. So it's a little bit of a, you know, there's some nitrous put into, into right, how the right, process right. works. Some steroids definitely in the box. Yeah. Up. Yeah. But it's, it's a great, um, I mean, like, like you said, I've had the opportunity to be on both sides of the coin. Um, but being an artist as well, you know that like, music doesn't exist without good songwriters. So um, it's, it's kind of the foundation of how it all works. And this is a great way to, to see it. And it's also a testament, you know, sometimes criticism has been heaped at particular artists because they don't write their songs. Or, but this is a team effort. There's this, every, effort, every element is important. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, it's a, a beautiful thing. How did you go about getting involved in this? Was a call made to you? Did you hear about it? Because normally when I get involved, I like hear about it and go, this is, I want in, you know, like, yeah. let me in. No, you know, we, uh, we, we do everything. Um, we look at all opportunities and all possible ways to elevate the, my project. Um, and in this case, we submitted a song, uh, not knowing where it was going to go. And the, uh, we just got lucky enough to be top four. And, you know, flying down to L.A. and sitting in that first meeting with, um, with the production team. And then they tell you, okay, so just so you know, you're going to be pitching to Florida Georgia Line. That's when that, like, that reality smack happens. And you go, okay, this is going to be a big ride. Because, like I said before, you're already a little bit uh, amazed at the simple fact of working with Ryan, Esther, and Shane. Right. Let alone now, you know, pitching to arguably one of the biggest – bands and country today and that sort of audience could stun you you know normally i mean I, would, I could easily be stunned like deer at headlights uh huh like always behind it you yeah know what I mean? um the experience of actually working with them because you know in showbiz we tend to be publicly overly polite everything's a grand experience everything's a smile but yeah how was it honestly working with some of these big names because you know when you have a big name a lot of times 
that name is all they care about. You know what I mean? And you sometimes, I sometimes yeah. get disappointed. Was there any of that? Because, you know, I've talked to a lot of the other people involved in this and everyone seems to have had a generally excellent experience. I'm almost hoping for a bummer at least, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe, but again, you know, I, I, we're proud of our community through this. So how was your experience? Yeah. What were they like? I, uh, I hate to disappoint because my, my experience is going to be very similar. Um, you know, it's uh, at the end of the day, it, when you go into that, uh, that room for the first time, there's a lot of nerves and there's a lot of anxiousness, but you realize very quickly that they're all simply songwriters and musicians first. Right. right. So very quickly you can get on the same page as them. Um, and the, uh, any nervousness that, that existed from that unknowingness, it, you get, you feel pretty comfortable pretty fast just because, you know, I can only speak to the, the, the country experience. When you go into a songwriting session, you're often going in with people you've never met before. And sometimes you're going in with big songwriter names, but very quickly the, the name is, is the name. And then you get to see the person for who they are. And it just takes that, right. um, that, that, uh, that anxiousness away. And well, these we guys have, were nothing different. Whenever we enter the studio, we put a sign that says, check your ego here, right at the door. And we put yeah. it the ground. And, and that's ultimately what happens. I, I, I was interested and curious because I, I kind of was theorizing that maybe the audience and all of these eyes, which you could theorize would paralyze you with fear, might, with an experienced songwriter, focus their uh, ability to see exactly the target. Like, uh, yeah. we can't dick around here. We got to find the target. Do you, was, that, was there any of that going on? Well, it, it's, it's a different, um, a slightly altered process, simply because in this case, we know who we're pitching to, right. and, and we're kind of creating or, or, or rejigging the songs to try and fit that, that mold. Right, which, um, is right? So, which is an advantage. Yeah, and in the case of Florida Georgia Line being that kind of having a little bit of that pop influence in their country right now, um, in my case, I, I had a blast working with Esther because I've never worked um, to that capacity, first off, with somebody like, like that talented, but that has more of the R&B and the pop backgrounds right. to lend and, and put that essence into the song. So I think it worked out great. Well, and also, you know, some of these big names that we're talking about, the different worlds of music do produce a different, you know, context. Each, and what I mean by that is that uh, in country, uh, for example, when you're working with other songwriters, I've noticed, especially talking to you guys, that the songwriter is conscious of the artist and tries to tailor it to match their uh, yeah. personality. Whereas sometimes in rock and roll, when I've been asked to write songs, they're trying to get a little bit of my personality to them yeah. in reverse. Yeah. You know what I mean, and then with hip hop, it's merely association and uh, featuring. And, right. and sometimes I'll bet it must, I, I'm hoping that it must have been refreshing for an artist who's not normally as that uh, empathetic to the other person's personality to see that with country especially, this everyone's focused on making the song the best song it can be. I really saw that in these episodes, yeah. really saw a group of people going, okay, whatever, this is the song, this is the group that needs it, this is what they're like. Was that like the universal rule? Because I mean, I gotta say, as a, as an artist, seeing this show, it's really a heartwarming thing, man. I really think what you yeah. guys have done is beautiful. Really, maybe without even realizing it, to see harmony and the way it should be is a beautiful thing. Was that the goal of this? Were these? Was that? Did that? Was it obvious, or was it something that developed? Was that the intended thing, or did it just happen? I think it just happened. I think it's, and it probably plays to the fact that more often than not musicians and right and writers are coming from like cloth we're all we're all in it for the same reasons and, and at the end of the day we want to make good music and at the end of the day best song wins so right it's it's if you strive for excellence but you're doing it you know knowing that the person across from you or, or the reason why you're there is to 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 create uh, art you know for lack right. of a better term it's not uh you know any competition that comes out of it is 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 very much friendly competition and supportive competition. And, um, you know, like, that's what I mean. In, in Griffin's case, like, I think he's an absolute uh, powerhouse. I know a lot more is coming from him. And I just made a connection, you know, that I'll try and nurture for life and do a whole bunch with. It's, it's you know, amazing. I, I think, I, I don't know what it was like for every viewer, but watching this show, watching you guys, I was viewing it just to see a situation where people work in harmony especially in this day and age, it's a beautiful respite. And it's almost a reminder that we artists are a community unto ourselves, and it's us against them. 
or it's us entertaining them. And yeah. uh, I really saw that in that show. As an artist, do you think you received the 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 promised benefit or the implied benefit of artistic growth and, and camaraderie and the experience of fellowship? Was all of that fulfilled? No question. More so than I, I expected. Um, it was it was a master class in songwriting, getting to work with Esther. Oh, it was a, a, you know, an unbelievable um, uh, experience just kind of seeing how TV shows are built. NBC does a phenomenal job of, of taking care of us. And then I come out of it with, you know, a, a ton of exposure, which is is kind of the, 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 the silver lining over everything else good that happened inside it. So, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm waiting for, for the world to, to get a little better here and, and everything to lift so I can get back down to Nashville and, and really start digging into all this creativity and the, the, these new techniques I've learned. Well, we as artists have the ability to blow wind in that sail of opening the country up because we have a platform. So I'm, I'm eager yeah. to get that going. Um, yeah. You said you said a master class. That, that really struck me because I think something that was very interesting for the viewer to watch was people like yourself already accomplished. I mean, already uh, demonstrative of the fact that there may be a lot of magicians running around, but you're a wizard. And still watching someone who is learned being the student and the fact that we never stop learning ultimately. There's always no. going to be so. And I kind of feel like what you showed me was that we don't do anything different. It's just milk, but it's only good when it's fresh. I love that. I love that. And, and you know, there's different ways to get milk too, maybe. I don't Absolutely. know. Absolutely. Some, some of it comes from almonds. Motherfuckers are making yeah. it come from rocks, basically. I mean, they have almost yeah. every kind of milk there is, like rubber tire milk. I mean, you could almost get any fucking thing you want, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's only good when it's fresh, you know what I mean? And you're trying to yeah. be different. Um, yeah. You know, I also wanted to point out, uh, what do I know? Beautiful song. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm excited for that one. And, uh, you know, we're hoping, uh, we're hoping to have some success for the early, early, uh, a lot of people are big, have been digging it already. And I, I, it kills me that I can't play this one live. We had a great summer lined up, but tis the, the, you know, the, the, what the world is like right now and the time will come. You couldn't play it live now, but even part between you and I, even the worst <laughs> still amazing, so I can wait. You know what I mean? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'll take it, I'll take it. You know, in yeah. my band, Eagles of Death Metal, we, uh, we, we're all about the appreciation of what we do. And I just wanted to tell you from one artist to another, just watching you do what you do and watching the enthusiasm and the respect, it, it was really beautiful, man. And uh, not only do I like your music, literally, but now I, I really adore you as a person. So if you ever need me, I'm at your service, my friend. I appreciate that. And likewise, because like we're talking about, musicians are in it together. Well, I'm, I'm going to track you down, dude. And, and I want I yeah. expect to see you. I think we're going to be playing at the Commodore Ballroom coming up here pretty soon. So maybe. That's my second home. <laughs> I love that place. And some of my yeah. great experiences in music have been in Canada, truly. Um, just, just, just saying. But um, what's next it. for you? What's next? Um, just more music. Uh, uh, we're going to finish. The, the EP is done and we're going to just kind of let it out song by song. Um, and then uh, we've got we've got a few things planned for the fall that I'm hoping don't fall through because they're they, they'd be a lot of fun. Um, but if they do, then we're also working on chapter three of new music. So back to the studio. Yeah, I know the, the tediousness of how the touring is going to go, even though the WHO just released that it's no the COVID is less deadly than the flu. I mean, we still have all this uncertainty. I mean, I guess it just goes yeah. to show that politicians aren't the smartest people in the world. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but they definitely have great haircuts. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> maybe if they check their ego at the, uh, at the house door when they go to the Senate or the Parliament or whatever, maybe they, maybe they could learn a lesson from our show because policy is just like writing a song, a bunch of people together with one mouthpiece yeah. to expose it to the world. Yeah. It's very true. <laughs> Maybe they should just like a little bit more. I don't know what it's going to take, but we got to get our priorities right. You know what I mean? <laughs> and thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. I, I really appreciate it. I mean, the story I was looking for sort of came out immediately. I mean, I wish, again, it's like a blowjob. It happens quick, but I still love it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so yeah, every, yeah. everything's a blowjob. But um, uh <laughs> I want to say uh, good luck to you, man, and congratulations on this. I mean, even though I guess you could say uh, somebody else's song was like or whatever, everyone seems to be a winner in this. They do, because there's so much to get to pull out of it, and professionally it just makes everyone better.
and I can see in your face the genuine appreciation, which, you know, if that's all it ever came to in this world today is a beautiful thing. Yeah, uh, I'm right there with you. And brother, thank you. Uh, I, I, that's all I have. So uh, I hope to see you again soon. Come see an Eagles of Death Metal or Queens of the Stone Age show soon. And uh, again, Queens of the Stone Age, first concert I ever saw. Best concert really? at the Orpheum. Yeah. You know, being kids in high school, you can always look at Joshua. I can always let him go, that motherfucker's going to do something. I don't yeah. know what it is, and I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I'm probably going to love it. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> we'll, definitely, uh, we'll definitely see you soon, though. I love it. First concert queens, you write country. That's what I'm talking about. Attitude, baby. <laughs> right. I'm you. a mod of music. I take my influence from everywhere. Yeah, dude, it's all everywhere. It, ultimately, it is one joyful noise under the Lord. Yeah. That's all he hears. Yeah. Thank you, I brother. couldn't agree more. Take That's care. All. all the best.